What's up guys? It is a chilly 34 degrees this Sunday morning. As you can see, I got the, the kennel back there. I didn't bring my extra set of wheels. Well, I didn't bring a extra set of wheels. I just, uh, I rode up here to Amarillo on my, my race wheels, my 17s. Uh, we had to fit the dog. The girlfriend just got knee surgery, so she really didn't want to drive her car, especially because she's not racing. So I had to fit the dog. You can hear him back there crying now. So uh, the hatch is a really good uh, fit for everything. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Uh, anyway, uh, we got to help set up last night and uh, walk the course a few times. And it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a course. <laughs> There's one spot where uh, it's a really, really tight, like alley oop turn type thing. I'll, I'll, I'll link it here. And then uh, right after that, where it looks like you kind of have a straightaway, where there's gravel there. So you got to be careful there too. Um, it's gonna be a really exciting day. It's the opening season for the SCCA, so I'm sure it's gonna be packed. We're like two minutes away um, from where it takes place. We're at the gas station real quick, getting some snacks. But whew, I barely slept last night. I'm super nervous, super excited. I need to let a crap ton of air out of these tires and uh, just send it. I don't know what one group I'm in yet or anything, but we'll find out here in a minute. We got a Mark Six, a Mark Five. There's another Mark 6R down there. There should be a white Mark 7 around here somewhere showing up. It's my boy Brandon. Him and his girl driving the Mark 6 diesel, which I got to drive last night, and that thing is freaking sick. Rips. It does. Do you, like, how many foot, like almost 300 foot pounds? Or no, like, they came like, with like 260. 260 foot pounds at like 2,000 RPM. That thing freaking rips. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, today's event is just going to be. It's gonna be wild. People are just cold and wild. Yeah, cold. It's still like 34 degrees. It's kind of nasty, but freaking nervous, freaking excited. <laughs> Check out this thing. Sick. Lexus is pretty sick. There's the other Mark 7 I was talking about. And there's another Mark 7, JJ. He's around here somewhere. There's an RS over there. Cars in the way, they get towed. I'm in the first run group, it's freezing. I let some air out, I'm about to check air like every run, but she's gonna be recording from the outside. I'm gonna have the GoPro and then talk to the phone after each lap, or at least try to. Um, just wish me luck, it's gonna be a crazy day. I don't know why it's so dark, but here we go. Sorry for the vertio, uh, vertical videos, guys. But this is how it's going to be when I'm talking to the camera. But that first lap felt so solid. Um, tires are a little slippery. I'm about to check tire pressure real quick. But it felt freaking good. Um, it's still pretty cold. It's still 37 degrees. So it's it's freezing. But uh, I felt solid. That was a solid first run. Yeah, I hope. Keep it Getting me pumped up. All right, lap number two. Are those same tires from last year? Yeah. Okay. You're still kicking. Somehow. Still kicking, kicking.
That felt so good. Holy shit. Yes. Okay, so I just changed the XDS interaction to strong from medium. That means that my electronic rear diff will be even stronger now than what it was before. Uh, these hairpins are pretty tough, so I'm hoping that'll help swing the car around and help make up a little bit of time. But uh, out of the run group, I am in first. I'm at a 48 something. The only other person in the 40s is Heather in her ST. She's a 49, so uh, we're kicking ass. And there's still plenty of other fast. There's still two more run groups and two more laps in my run group. And uh, then again on the second half of the day. So there's plenty more racing to do, but so far, so great. We'll see how this XDS uh, stuff changes things. If I don't like it after this lap, I'm just gonna change it right back, but um, we'll find out. Was our first set of laps for group a we still have group b and group c to really get a good time line going but my best is a 47 2. this is only her second time at autocross in her st which it's basically stock right just an intake just an intake just an intake and she's at a 49 something i think your second or third place but she has the best pax time blows my mind i drove the st last night and the feeling in that car is Way better than you expect. If you've never driven one, that's all I'm gonna say. It's 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 good, but I'm super stoked right now. I'm holding first place, roll time. Uh, we'll see how the other groups do. Hopefully, no one gets too close to beating me, and if they do, then hopefully I can make it up in the afternoon session. But like uh, I said, the the that front strut brace and the tie roll dead set kit really makes the hugest impact in steering. Like. Anything over, I'd say, 30 degrees in the steering wheel, it's like a totally different car. Um, if you're gonna be tracking your car, you should, and you don't have a front sway bar yet, don't get one, skip that, save the effort and money. Well, I guess you'd be doing subframe stuff anyway with the tie roll kit, but get the tie roll kit, get the Eurosport front strut brace. Um, it's amazing. I have the suspension set, or the dampening set at 22 right now. I might bump it up to 25. You need to find a jack so I can do the, the rears um, a little a little more uh, stiffer. Would definitely help a little bit. Um, this second alley oop and then leaving that into like this little gravelly part down there that is like my hardest little bits. But other than that, I improve every single lap, which usually isn't the thing for me. Usually like my first lap's my best, and like my fourth lap I might beat it. Um, but yeah, just all the nervousness and overthinking and, and studying the track really paid off so far at least. But uh, yeah, just, just a good day. And it's still freaking freezing. <laughs>
didn't get my third run. I guess I did get my third run here. And when I went to hit play for my fourth run is when I stopped the video for my third one. So I can get the, the fourth one on video. But my third one felt really crappy, but I broke it into 46s on that one somehow. And so I went and checked tires. Tire pressure's bumped up uh, three PSI. So I let three more PSI out, back down to 31. This is my fourth run. I haven't looked at the time yet but it felt great. Hopefully I beat my third one. Um, holy crap, that pushed me like way ahead. Um, I think, I hope. I and mean, we still have two other classes to go, but man, I'm excited. Like all these parts putting together today have been great. Like, um, I can't say enough that Tyro Sport Dead Set Kit and uh, the Eurosport Sway or uh, what's it called? Strut Bar, like made probably huge difference i mean the bc coilovers in general like of course like they did the shit and then the, the rear diff inserts from 034 and the 034 shock uh bushings fucking phenomenal excuse my french um is everything i did oh especially like the diesel geek uh shifter pieces that i've done with the super pan and the bushings and all that it makes shifting out here so good like i'm not really shifting much but the one couple runs that i did do and i went in a second just tits like the no lift shift awesome the clutch holding up fantastically like it's just great everything's been great today um like i said we still have like two sets of cars to go still but i'll get back to you guys on the other camera all right well i just got done with my runs a little bit ago i'm holding it down just barely um i don't know if you guys can even see that there we go 46 7 I got 46 twice my last two runs were both 46 um, I really don't even know how I did that on my third run I thought my third run was junk but uh, I duplicated it on my last run and beat that time still as well I let like a bunch of air out of the tires like I said in the, in the last video on the GoPro but oh my god I like, know hopefully I can hold it down I still have like there's still like one more lap for the second group and then the whole third group um, both have really good drivers in each group, so uh, fingers crossed I hold it down, but today has been a day. <laughs> all these parts are holding up great, they're feeling great, everything is like dialed perfectly, and you know, I didn't even have like a dial-in day, just, I guess, just from the street driving and whatnot, I just got it in just, just, just for right. Um, shout out to Carl Tat for BC Racing. Um, information on the coilovers in general he's teaching me things little by little we go back and forth kind of here and there um, but yeah oh my god mr2 almost almost went off the track there. <laughs> i don't know we'll see how this goes I'll, I'll talk to you guys at the end here and see if i take an award home today and in first with fast time of the day with a 39.993 was bryce shindle day. <laughs> That's your place, right? <laughs> well, guys, there it is. Took home the win. 32 drivers. I managed to get a 4677. Um, I'll post a screenshot here. It was a crazy day. I didn't think it was going to turn out this way. Um, like one of my quote unquote biggest rivals actually wasn't there, Adrian, in his WRX. We were kind of like neck and neck all last season he wound up getting number one overall last season so um next event i'm sure he's gonna be there maybe he will maybe he won't i don't know i don't know what's going on with this car but um so that'll be interesting for sure marty gave me a good uh good fight out there today as well and uh what's his name dan and just just everybody just that, that mini i really thought that mini was gonna come and, and kick my butt and then marty out there in the miata just and just going and going, and the way Heather drove today, that shit was wild. Like, she did really, really good. It's her first time with the SCCA, and she got, I think, like, fifth or sixth overall, like, first in class. She had first in packs for, like, the first half of the day. Um, pretty crazy. But uh, this huge shout-out to Brandon, BDR. Uh, this would not be possible without him hooking it up with, this, with these tires. Um, uh, just the car's gripping. She's shitting and getting. Uh, shout out to James and Christina up at NHF Motorsports Portalis, uh, getting the, the subframe kit in and the clutch in. Um, this wouldn't have been anything without getting those in. So huge shout out to them. And of course out to 034 for their sway bar and their subframe inserts and their 
shock bushings, and then United Motorsports for the tomb, Black Forest Industries for the motor mounts. I could go on and on. My parts list is pretty huge, but that Eurosport um, front strut brace is like killer. Definitely put that on your list. I'm telling you it changes everything. I love it. Um, that's about all I got. I'm gonna add that to my, my wall here somewhere. I have to find a place. Um, <laughs> it's just giving me a funny look. Um, yeah, we got 10 more events in Amarillo this season. Um, another one that's in two weeks. So we got Houston this coming week and weekend. And the next weekend we have off and then back up there. And then we won't be back up there for another month. But then we still got uh, Roswell to go to. And then uh, I think in June, Lubbock kicks up as well. So it'll be three different venues to go to every month. It's going to be intense. We're kind of hoping to get our M3 ready for this next event, but there's the Vano system needs redone, and we got to pull the rear end back out. We got all the bushings to do, um, need suspension. There's the rear shocks are pretty much blown. So busy, busy, busy. But stay tuned, um, especially this week. We're doing daily vlogs in Houston for TX2K. That event is totally out of control. Um, well, it's in control of the actual event, but the night stuff is out of control. That is the wildness. Stay tuned. Um, yeah, I just can't believe first out of 32. Great way to start the season. Hopefully I can replicate that. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you drop a, a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and I'll uh, catch you on the flip-flop.